Oh, hey, Chris. Going good. Uh, let's see. I got, um... Hey, Ferg. How are you? Moonhopper? Howdy. Just got to zoom over to my other monitor for a second, get a window that's overlapping my chat. One sec. <laughs> this alt tab thing is hit and miss. It might kick me out of the game. If it does, uh, I'll be back. Just got to get that thing moved over. Like that. Put that over top of it and see if the game will come back. Hey, us. Awesome. I hope you guys are doing well this Saturday. <laughs> hey, cool. Oh, do I have my... Um, let's see. Did my over-the-shoulder camera not go... Oh, it's not started. Hang on a sec. Let me uh, see if I can't get that going. Try and get it started up here. Hey, come on. Shoot. Oh, there it goes. Hey, <laughs> awesome. Well, cool 3040p. Awesome. Right on. So. We've got the, uh, gonna start off today with the Pizzer 389 and gonna see how it works. Like, I have it running at uh, 60 FPS solid in the game, but I want to see how it does in the live stream. Um, let's put on the frame. Uh, yeah, boy, it takes a hit with the darn stream. That's a bummer. Oh well, let's, uh, we can deal with it. Yeah, it's too bad. Hey, John. Uh, not for, um... We'll have a look at it again, but not for the, uh, Serial Black engines. They're, I'm only, I'm just getting sporadic ones to show up. Uh, let's see. There we go. Hey, Silver Greg. I'm going to have to turn the turbo down on this. I think I got a 3406E in here. If it's too annoying, we'll stop turn it down. <coughs> so, I'll show you where we are, what we're doing. We're in Reno, and we're going to head back up to Klamath Falls. So, I kind of really wanted to take this route here back to Redding. Because the other day I did a video going in this direction, but we're going to get some of it. And up through Susanville. And then we're going to head off up to Klamath Falls, and we'll start with that. Go in graphic and turn off traffic headlights. Okay, let's try that. See if that makes a difference. It may not... I don't know. Let's see what happens here. We got back in. Yeah, it's still pretty jumpy. Like, my PC runs all of that stuff just fine. It's the stream. Like, it, it has to... I gotta take time and figure out what the hell's going on with the stream and set it up differently. So we got the Rogers. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, what's what's wrong with my camera? I don't have the. Oh, it's all these containers and stuff, making it do goofy things. Well, John, when I'm not in the stream, this thing runs with everything maxed really good right now. It's smooth, so it's the stream. So. If, uh, I don't know, um, it's something I have wrong in my stream settings, maybe? Pretty sure we gotta turn right out of here. We 
got the 3406E in here. We got to turn the turbo down a bit. Let's uh, jump into there and do that. Options. Uh, oh, the turbo is down a fair bit. I'll turn it down a little more. Yeah, it's really goofy. I went in and in the uh, graphics, I turned the mirror settings all to medium. But, so I turned these all to medium. With these all on high, uh, it runs dead smooth uh, when I'm not streaming. I have the snowy moon on, so I have uh, SMAA turned off. I never use the SSAO. But yeah, it's the streaming thing. Man. Got to figure that out. What's going on there? Because, I mean, I got a gigabit Ethernet connection. It's not like I'm bandwidth limited getting the stream out. Oh, well, that's weird. They got us going... So no on-ramp up there on the highway? Yeah, there's one right there. I'm going to go straight through and get in that left lane instead of driving all down there. Dang, Navigator. That's a pain in the butt. I guess I should have my beacons on. Snowy Moon is so easy, John, it's like falling off a bike. Like, uh, and there's lots of videos out there on how to do it. That's why I didn't make one. Like, if just just go on YouTube and just type in Snowy Moon. It's like ridiculously simple. Silver, how you doing? Yeah, Reforma is great. I really love the Sierra Nevada. So good. So this load is um, pretty heavy. What is it? Oh man, 88,000 pounds. Choppy up here at this end. Who just squeaked by that guy? I don't think 
think so. It's what the map shows to do. Well, there was no uh, exit, I thought. Maybe well, I'm following the route they're giving me anyway. It's going to get us going uh, west here. Boy, these guys are sure going slow. I want to be in that lane to my left here. Susanville, that's where we want to go. Scott. Well, Donald, if it was a choice between pink snow and Grimes Frosty Winter, if that's what you're talking about, I will stick with um, Snowy Moon. Uh, I mean, it makes such a nice difference to the game. inspection coming up. to the stream. Well, we're really going to have to watch the right-hand lane here. So how do you get pink snow from snowy moon if you don't have the Grimes frosty winter? Where's the pink snow coming in? Look at this guy coming. Oh, it's just, oh, wow, nice. Hey, Matthew. Yeah, it's uh, good, good so far. Right along the Pistor 389 here. Man, I didn't change the time of day. Oh boy, what's wrong with me? Before I took the load. I guess we get a little nighttime driving in here. Get out so we can see the sun. Uh, 
sun going down. Imagine we gotta turn right here pretty soon. Oh no, Susan! I think we go straight through. Doing good, Pops. Thanks. Thanks for asking. Oh, <laughs> driving all over the road, reading the chat. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, almost hit him. I got turn right here sooner or later. Yeah, I do. Boy, the uh, the lights are going to be a bit much. I have turned the uh, beacons off. It's all better. Sound like our load is really wide. A little bit, not terrible. Okay, so what does that do? Does it uh, improve the frame rates, John? So let's, yeah, but once again, I don't think it's a truck. Like if I uh, turn the lights off and I get inside, oh, well, actually that is a little smoother. No, it's smooth here anyway. Hey, we're doing good, Holly. Yeah, <laughs> flashing lights. It's like that warning at the movie theater. Yeah, let's turn the beacons back on and see what happens. Still not too bad. It's because we're not around any buildings. I'm going to do a tutorial on, um, I'm going to do it on Monday, I think, for this truck to uh, show you guys how to uh, do the things like the uh, stickers on the inside of the visor and all the labels and things you can do with it. Yeah, it was a little close. 
<laughs> We're in California, so it's only 55 here, so oh, somebody's passing up there. We're gonna get in on it. Uh oh. That was weird. Dude stopped right in front of that guy. Yeah, I'm doing better today, uh, Scott. I was a little shaky yesterday for some reason. Oh, and uh, just so you guys remember, uh, we got a uh, Pizzer. 389 giveaway this month on the on the Discord. guys they pulled out to pass pass and then decided to stop so I got uh, 88,000 pounds on there's no way I was gonna stop but we can just chill run here at 55 57 for a bit okay 58 Oh, here's that moonlight coming in again. The other day I was driving along here. Where's the, the moon? Over our shoulder there somewhere. I was driving right along here. There's some trees up ahead somewhere. And it threw some shadows into the cab from the moonlight. It was amazing. Shoot, that bus is going straight. Just our luck. So this is um, that 805. Uh, this is the 805 horsepower, 2950 foot-pound torque, Z-Mod 3406 E. I really like it for uh, jobs in around this weight.
I started signaling a little bit early. <laughs> Between reading the chat and doing what I'm doing here, it's a lot of sync. Okay, let's have a quick look at the map and see for... I'm pretty sure... Okay, so this was Reforma. I'm pretty sure we're just turning on to SCS World. Is that truck okay, the C500 from the... I should look at that one because I have a C500 and I hate it. I don't know who it was from. Not very good. Yeah, ice on the road is right. <laughs> you guys can't see where the chat is, but it's just over here on the right of the big monitor. And uh, it's far enough off the road that I, uh, I get in trouble when I try and read the chat. But hey, it's only a game. What, what could happen? It's better to uh, keep a handle of what you guys got going on, too. 25 bucks, eh? So it's, uh, what was it again? Uh, Team Edition. Okay, I'll uh, have to look that up. I'll have to see what version the one I have is. Yeah, so getting back to this truck, uh, the 389, uh, what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, like I say, make a tutorial on how to do all the labels and all the things you can modify on it. I think uh, you can even make a custom dash plaque. I think I'll do that too. I'll just try and do a little bit of everything you can do. I may go uh, above and beyond and see if I can actually put it in a skin instead of putting it in the open death. I'll have a go at it. Oh, we're almost there. Where are we going anyway? Avalanche steel. That could be a tight delivery. Welcome to Oregon. Hey, RH. How you doing, Jay? I did grab the uh, C70 and that Ford Super Duty from uh, Christian. And I like them. But uh, hopefully he uh, keeps working on them. Get the glass sorted out. And Yeah, so, I mean, I can just take the uh, pieces out of the open def and put them in the skin. The way I do with Ruta's mud flaps and other things. Yeah, I wonder what he uses for settings. Because I'm sure, you know... I, it's just something in my uh, my stream settings. I got the bit rate set at like a default 95 or 96, whatever it is. And I'm pretty sure I could run the bit rate up pretty high. And uh, I don't know why I couldn't. I got uh, gigabit ethernet, but I don't know how that works. Oh, 
no, I know how to do it, Dan. There's no problem there. <laughs> no, pi um, Pister uh, got a hold of me and asked me to make the video as a tutorial for people who use his truck. And so I'm going to do it for him. I know how to do it. It's uh, just so that other people can see how. Four K. I wonder what he uses to stream. Maybe he doesn't use OBS Studio. And you're talking about stream, not video, right? Trucker Jules, how are ya? Oh, we turn right here. There we are. Oh boy. Wonder if I gotta back up a bit, get a trailer over. Hmm, I think I will. I should ask him what his stream settings are or what he uses. I'll do that. Oh, we gotta go way in the back corner. I haven't been back here in a long time. keep wanting to get this parking spot back here with the B-double sometime and I never get it. Yeah, things are uh, oop, looking up. Oh, <laughs> could be the other Dan. He's on the men too. Good to hear you're back at work. Messing this up. Yeah, we're too tight. What should we do next? Therapeutic half time for the time being. Oh wow. Well, excellent. Uh, let's see, what should we do? Um, I'll do some more of this here, Nevada stuff. Mexico, could do a little short truck, could do... Mm, oh boy, got any number of things we can do. Uh, what do I got in this profile? Oh man, look at all the trucks I got. SCS trucks. Got a bunch of Pister trucks. 
Oh, there's a little heavy haul setup. I, dang, should have been driving that one for this load. Big engine and everything. There's the full chopped 72-inch. Uh, That's a cool-looking truck. Big Mama. Jasper's wheels and tires. Ooh, excuse me. What engine do we have in that one? 3406B. That's pretty quiet, that engine. Cool truck. Um, let's see. 329-inch wheelbase. Wow, that's a biggie. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? Could, uh, let's see. Not seeing any ideas coming out on the screen there. Let's, uh. Hey, Stefan. Oh, <laughs> especially in green. <laughs> what else? What have we been doing? Oh, Ironworks. I haven't driven that in a while. What was the other one? The Outlaw. What do I got that? Do I have it in its own profile? Outlaw, I do. I haven't driven the Outlaw. 389. I'll have to check the map. Uh, load the map. Uh, sorry. Need to see the um, mod order. See what's busted. Oh, I've got all kinds of things to fix. You boy. Yeah, I don't think we'll bother with that right now. That was, I had a whole bunch of the, like, coast to coast and everything else. I built that profile on top of what we did the kite cannonball run on. And then I took a bunch of those mods out. Shoot. What about the ironworks? Let's see what's happened in that uh, profile. Oh man, all the reforma and ATS expansion. Oh, that doesn't take too long to fix. That's easy to fix. Hey, Alaska, that's an idea. Custom refrigerated trailer. I don't know if that would be a problem. Billion Fuller cast. Hmm. I think that's easy to fix. Let's see. Oh, but you don't want to watch me just doing that, fixing up a load order. Uh, what else we got? Oh, I know. I made a dedicated FLX profile. Let's uh, have a look at that. Should be good. Could jump in an FLX. Should be all good. Oh, no, I got to update the reform in here, too. Well, let's do that. Okay, that won't take too long. So, reforma. Let me see. It's going to be... Or is this here in Nevada Pacific Los Altos? Okay. This will just take a second. Uh, and that one, that one, that one. We need that. Oh, let's put the real companies in here while we're at it. All right, so this should be easy to do. Throw that to the bottom. That one. And that up. I'll just put all these up and then I'll axe those other ones out. Uh, 
Now we got to put yeah, everything's good. Perfect. Brutal Bay. <laughs> oh man. Okay, let's get this going again. <clears throat> hey, Platty, how are you? <clears throat> so we're just uh, maybe going to head up to Alaska. Prudhoe Bay, huh? You know what? Uh, let's see. Did I do that? I, last time I went to Prudhoe Bay, so I guess we can do Prudhoe Bay back to um, Fairbanks. Yeah, Alaska's pretty cool. <clears throat> Just got to load up all the new map setup and <laughs> figure it all out. There we go. Uh, game change selected. So let's, do we have a garage in Alaska? We could just go right there. We do. Oh, we don't have one in Prudhoe Bay, but we got Fairbanks. Oh, Flatbed Brothers. You know what we got to do? Ah, oh, shoot. Um, I don't know if we got... I wonder how these tires are on the, the map, the 24.5s. I have to try them. So I don't think I got Jaspers in here. Come on. No Jaspers. Oh, wait a minute. Check the wheels. That's how you do it. Oh, well. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, an off, uh, off day yesterday, that's for sure. Twas ain't good. Uh, okay, we'll just get on out of here. See what we got going on for a trailer. What's... Oh, just a straight old flat deck. Well, that'd be uh, good. Oh, I, li I like a... Uh, which one is this? Okay, SCS. Flatbed Brothers. Awesome. Okay, let's, um, I guess we could do a couple things. We could, oh, I uh, wanted to show you guys. You know, how, uh, the other day I did that video of just a bunch of city in town deliveries. Look at this place. This is the one to do that in. So many, you could go across town and back, back and forth. And somebody told me um, that when you do the job, you, you don't need to drive back. Like, so when you drop off at a location, you can, there's a um, an option to just take a job from there, right from the dock where you are. So I got to try that. But anyway, let's, um, maybe we'll go to Prudhoe Bay and see if we can get up there with a flat deck. Uh, Prudhoe. Hey. Nope, spelled right. Now. Okay, our home garage is over there. Should be. Should be right here. I don't know if we need to go to, well, I guess we can drop on the service drop dot and just see what we got for an engine in here. <clears throat> kind of want some big power for this Prudhoe Bay stuff. Oh, 669, 3406E. Just had a 3406E. Let's see what else. We got. What C16s do we have? 800. How is 1,000? But it's only 25, 60 foot pounds of torque. What about DD60s? What? No DD60s in here? 346B, 346B, 
Oh, we could take it. I should have. Oh, there's the MBN King of the Hill. Oh, yeah, we should. 805. Nope, not uh, there. We'll take that. Oh, and transmission. Shoot. I don't think we need a transmission with super tall gears because we won't be able to use that. We'll go with 358s. Yeah. There we go. All right. And set the time of day. I'll set it real early. Like, I don't know, what? Three in the morning? Oh, man. It's moonlit out anyway. Cool. Uh, and now, do we have a job market here? May not have discovered it just by landing here. Oh, we did. Nice. Prudo to Anchorage. Man, look at all the deliveries in Prudo Bay. Holy. Fairbanks. Tanks. Oh, scrapped cars. Iron pipes. Oh, that's a good one. 57,000. Rail, 60,000. Mooring boys. Who fertilizer? <laughs> What's fertilizer doing up here? Uh-oh. Got to be that sky. Well, that's the rail yard. I guess that's kind of cool. Reservoir tank. That's a nice heavy load to be digging out of here with. Uh... Let's grab that. Yep. Oops. So real quick, while we're up here, if anybody hasn't been up here, we're going to just uh, zoom around the hangar here and have a sneak peek in the door. Oh, this old DC-3 sitting in here. That's cool. And these guys here, just chilling. Oh, just a nice day in Alaska. Yeah, who needs a coat? Another DC-3. Cool. All right, let's... Um, you know what? I want to have a... Well, we'll see if we got voice nav in here. Maybe we do. Oh, this one doesn't look too bad in the stream. Yeah, SES uh, flat deck. Got the uh, goggles. Uh, 56 mud flap pack flaps on the back. This has a steering rear axle. See that rear wheel steering on the trailer. Okay. Yeah, this truck's great. Boy, I wonder how we're going to do with this load. 57,000, we were breaking traction a little bit there. That's a steering like. Oh, yeah, steering's a little vague. Lots of understeer. So Buffy's uh, been dispatching for you, has she?
yeah, speaking of the FLX, uh, probably going to live stream our FLX uh, convoy tonight. Well, what's going on here? Uh-oh. Okay. Well, I'll be horn swoggled. Oh, look at this guy. Smells in trouble right off the get go. Thanks, no. Oh, fly up over there. Oh, there's the Northern Lights. Just get ourselves on a straight chunk of road here. Carry on. <laughs> yeah, Ice Road Truckers. Yeah, hopefully we do okay with this load, with the weight. Yeah, which target are we looking for? This one or the other one? Find out. Oh, it's the other one. Dude, stuck. That's the one we want. Man, I wonder if I should change it. Is there a lighter load? Nope. Wow. Okay. See what we do. Dancing on ice. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. Cargo's ready to be loaded. Whereabouts? Have to look at the map. So we got to get into there. It's down there to our right. Oh, this. Oh, yeah, I see it now in the distance there. Oh, this is going to be fun. Try not to get stuck. Yeah, I guess they got, looks like they got that SCS yeah, snow going here from the Winterland thing. Oh shoot, now we're parked on a big angle the other way. Or does that mean that I can just drive in this snow over the snowbank? Well, I guess we must as well try. It's gonna happen. Too far. Hey, Kenneth. Got a little bit of uh, your Denmark weather here. 
<laughs> Speaking of which, we're getting a bit of it uh, ourselves here. It's snowing right now, but not not too much. But it's going to snow a little more tomorrow. Hey, Tia, truck driver simulator, hello. Well, I'm going to find out what happens here if we're going to be able to get out of here with this. Well, maybe we'll get more traction on the drivers. Because they do put load on the truck, wheels with the with the trailer loads. Well, let's just take a little. Maybe we just back it up a, a notch here first. Oh, do I have the trailer brakes on? Yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. No snow in Denmark. Oh, wow. Cool. Do you get a lot of snow in Denmark? I'm just curious. I guess you're south of... Uh, yeah, you're a little bit south for the uh, Scandinavian countries, I guess. Hey, Spank, how are That's cool, we got out of there. I just had to turn the diff lock off and see what happens. I we're probably gonna end up just driving with it on most of the time, but we'll see. Oh, hey, that was close. Oh, there's a big old northern lights behind us. Now we gotta figure out how to get around this darn roadblock up here. Yeah, I think we got weight on our drivers from this load. We might be doing okay. Yeah, I'm doing good, Spick. A lot better than yesterday. Wow, that was weird. I wonder, I think my best bet here is to just try and sneak by this guy. Should have done that on the way in. Yeah, that's interesting how that is changing the snow. We really need more this winter because, you know, all the agriculture around uh, relies on a heavy snowpack over the winter and uh, the snow melt in the spring is really good for the soil as opposed to rain. Hey, SP, haven't seen you in a long time. Hope you're well. I guess that's a double-edged sword, isn't it? It's 
good to be busy, but it's a bummer when you don't get to do ATS. plans. It's exactly the way it goes. Yeah, apparently you don't need to use them anymore. Um, last time I put them on, I think, who was it? Somebody, was it John? You said, uh, yeah, don't bother. As they changed the snow in the game, I used to use them. And the last time I did a trip on the snow here, I had them on, or maybe two trips ago and somebody commented oh you don't need them anymore they changed the snow characteristics it's a lot better now actually never got going this fast without them before they changed the snow with them you could only get like 35 40 miles an hour all right here comes Montana Express Let's see if we can get by him here Yeah, we'll find out how we do. So I'm running without the diff lock. And I think there's that, there's that one steep climb out of here. We may need to slow down and put the diff lock on before we get there. I wonder if the snow is blowing up. There's, did they take the whiteouts out? Used to get some real serious whiteouts. traffic. It's going to get interesting. <laughs> oh boy, coming our way. All right, we got somebody going the other way. Speed limit should drop here pretty soon and we get that sort of open water crossing or whatever the heck they're trying to emulate there. Eighteenth gear, like I mean, yeah, the way this game used to be, there's no way you'd ever hit eighteenth gear. But then, yeah, we got three fifty eights in here too. I was thinking three seventies, but I think we should be fine. All right, here we go. It's going to get fun here in a second. Prudhoe Bay Cannonball. Let's watch what happens here. fairly straight. Look at that man in the, in the mirror. Wow. That's something. Uh oh. Oh, oh, 
Why is he stopping? Those guys are going our direction. Oh no, they're coming this way. I guess he just saw me coming up at such a rate of speed. <laughs> Freaked him out. All right, now it's this is that open bit. Oh yeah, speed limit's 15 here. That's what he was slowing down for. Should be a W900 in the ditch up here. Let's go. Uh, you mean as a convoy, uh, pups? Cannonball Alaska edition. <laughs> yeah, that would be something, eh? That's actually a cool idea. Prudo to, uh, oh no, uh, what's it called down there? Oh, gotta watch it here. Don't want to drift into this truck. What's our steering like? It's okay. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, steering's still good. What is it uh, down at the bottom end? Nookshank or Nookshank or Crookshank? Easter special. Hey, that's an idea. I have to see if I can get recon up for it. If we do another cannonball, we're going to make sure anybody who the the uh, for contestants have to be sorted like you know five days in advance or something to get a better start than we had last time <laughs> look at this guy <laughs> he's out doing a little ice fishing uh oh got a rise here hope nobody's coming I have to get a load of Easter eggs to deliver from. Uh, oh, maybe two Prudhoe Bay? Well, that's a tricky one, man. This this road for a cannonball? Man, I tell you, because it doesn't have all the big shoulders for passing on and to, to go cannonball crazy like we did. Oh, it's a car coming. Yeah, you could go uh, start right down like we got off the ferry. Get a little practice in here. Oh. Oh, oh I missed that, Matthew. Gotta go start cleaning and cooking. Yeah, good luck with that. Nice of you to drop in. Thanks, Matthew. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, nobody coming. Yikes. Yeah, this is, uh... Wow, we definitely got a little bit of... Oops, slippage on the steering here. Oh, 
Well, I think we could do a cannonball run on this. Oh. Would be tricky. Oh, that'll be happening in, uh, if you're doing World of Truck jobs, you can't go over 65. Get out of your World of Trucks, uh, take regular cargo. Yeah, get, get into the regular market. Oh, don't have a roof cam. Forgot about that. Sure, nice sunrise behind us. I just love this FLX. Okay, cool. We're not real far from that difficult little climb. Let's see how we do. I'd like, really like to have some momentum going up there, but <coughs> if I remember, there's a sharp left corner at the bottom of it. traffic here. We're getting close to that hill, I think. Clip my vehicle with chains. Oh, this is crazy. Yikes. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I show how to use the uh, TSSE tool in the tutorial I did on cloning profiles. I think I've used it in several tutorials, actually. Jack, Jake rather, sorry. How you doing? Yeah, please excuse just drifting through. <laughs> oh, what's your corner here? Yeah, 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. I wish I had the roof cam on this truck for up here. I do have the uh, the default one. It's not quite the same thing. There's that one. I think with this one, you can't move the view around. Oh wow, that was a big scary climb, I think. No, that's not it. Is it? Come on. There it goes. Woo. doing here changed the map. I think that really difficult climb has been ironed out a little bit, to tell you the truth. There is a really long one after Coldfoot. I think it's after Coldfoot. Whoops. Trying to read the chat. Sorry, buddy. I almost sideswiped him. Well, this is cool. It's kind of practicing my uh, potential cannonball. I'm getting a head start on you guys. start getting twisty here. That one after Coldfoot, I, uh, well, I got the speed limiter in here. Uh, the, uh, or do I? I don't want to go over 79 because I'll bust out on uh, Trucks Book. And I would usually go down there as fast as I could go. 90 miles an hour down and then just make it up the other side. We'll see what we do. Uh, he had a wooden leg afterward, I think. <laughs> Frostbite, to, Frostbite took the one off, I guess. And back to the snow. Gonna get a little riskier up here trying to do all this passing. Gonna have to be ready on the brakes. Our vehicle's coming the other way. And ready to slow down so we don't go off the road. I should, uh, shouldn't say this and you know, jinx myself, but we haven't had any oncoming traffic in a while. I wonder if somebody's radioed ahead that there's a madman coming. You can 
can see that real windy bit coming up on my GPS now. Oh boy, here we go, blind corner. Oh, we're good. <laughs> oh, there's somebody. This is too funny. Pretty out though, bit of a postcard. Hey, awesome. Good to hear it. Uh, got that sorted. Won't be that much longer we get to that big... Uh, <laughs> I hope he is. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, talk to Recon. See if he wants to set his servers up for it. get to a brow of a hill at the wrong time here. Alaska North to the Future is what it's called. Okay, here's that big downhill coming, I think. Or is it yet? Maybe not quite yet. No, not yet. It's got a bigger, straighter run into it than that. Oh. Just heard a beep from the uh, speed warning. This is a good map though, like, I mean, you pay one time and you own it and you get all the updates and everything else and it's not overly expensive. Uh, what was it, 25 bucks or 30 bucks? I forget. I mean, I've had it for three years and, you know, it's no problem. You get all the updates. And... Oh, this is risky. Oh, yep, risky, risky. Got that guy back there to hit the brakes. We didn't hit him. That's good. Uh, just Google Alaska North to the future. Ten bucks. That's it, eh? Yeah, it's well worth it. Twenty. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's fifteen. But yeah, just Google Alaska North to the future ATS. Oh, we this is intense. I'm getting that uh, cannonball vibe, you know, where you're all zoned in and locked in. 
Looking forward to get back on pavement and chill out a bit. Of course, I don't have to be going crazy. Here's the big, there's the big climb. Got to set the cruise control to 79. Is the cruise control trying to keep us? Now oh, we're going to lose some speed here. Fifteenth. That's not bad. And didn't have the diff lock in, so that's cool. far from the end of the snow. Oops. Wandering all over the road. Yeah, there's the uh, place up ahead where we get... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where we could take the chains off if we had them. Where I... The thing about that, there was always a bummer about... Ooh, ooh, somebody's coming. bummer about the uh, having to stop in here all the time to take off the chains is you'd come out of here and there's still snow and you got to get up this hill right here oh boy what do we do go for it oh, oh I don't see anybody oh, man. <laughs> ah, crazy Oh boy, what scenery. And more so to Gateau, as you'd say in Quebec. A piece of cake. Oh. Yeehaw. Whoa. A little drift out over there. But this is way more fun than it used to be with this different snow. This has got to be the SES snow, that same stuff Recon put on East Glacier. Oh boy, yikes. Another drift. Ooh, ooh. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate that. Oh, geez, I get it. I'm low on fuel. Oh, I should be. Oh, oh. I'm pay attention to what I'm doing here. Uh oh, got the wrong gear. Yikes. Freaked out and put it in low range. Yeah, we uh, just snuck through there in a few instances. A few 
more corners here. I like this 3408 uh, for when I'm doing, um, when I'm driving on my own, I want to listen to music. It's not quite as loud as some of the other engines. These guys at a bad time. Might have a view once we get up here on top of this hill. Oh! Oh! <laughs> now there's somebody coming. <laughs> Yikes. Ah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man, I was all over the place as I got out of the cab there. Reminds me of that, uh, what was that, Colin McRae rally or something he used to drive a long time ago. I got a couple different rally ones. I forget. I remember the Colin McRae one. I forget what the other one was. All right. Won't be long now. We're going to be seeing pavement. Oh, <laughs> are you doing a bit of this cannonball on today, Platty? Ah, that was nail biting. All right, ooh. Oh, a little bit of dirt. your seat on you there buddy okay so now this is oh look at that trailer oh that's a Dunkin Donut trailer or whatever so now this is so you can see the kind of trouble you get into on a cannonball on this road Okay, time to chill out. Uh, calm down. <laughs> that was uh, that was fun, but reckless. Got uh, 38 miles to go, and uh, should we um, think about what we want to do next? Yeah, normal services service has resumed. <laughs> yeah, what should we do next? Oh, that was exciting! Oh man, it's making me want to yawn. 
Now we're just driving along all quiet and sedate like. Time for a drink of water. Well, I don't think we're going to be late for our delivery. <laughs> An upside. Don't hit the brakes. Oh, there we go. Fairbanks. Awesome. I'll see that I'm starting frame rates now. We're going to the rail X rail. That's all the way through town, I guess. <laughs> Throw it all over the highway. Yeah, for sure. Wow, do we still have anything on the trailer? Yep. <laughs> uh, Oh wow, that's awesome. Did I, uh, oh boy. I probably went over on that last trip, but it was fairly short. I wonder how I did on this one. I managed to get no miles. I had to settle down a little bit, do one for the team. I wonder if we should do a, uh, if I went down to, what is that, um, oh, I'll have to look at the map and see. There's that plaster on Suns, I think, down in the Yukon. You could go from Yukon down to Cache Creek, BC, down that, uh, connector. So those guys had turned left. Oh, that guy's turning left. Perfect. Now let's go. Just got that other guy. Yeah, frames are dodgy in town here. Yeah, I thought I did. I heard four beeps. Yeah, usually if I only hear it beep three times and I get slowed down, I'm okay. Could take everyone down to Reforma in Nevada. Oh, yes, the UFOs at night. No, it's not mine. Uh, it's uh, Recon Lobsters. On ATS expansion, Discord. Yeah, we could go do that, Scott. I gotta remember the highway. What was it? Highway 89. I could use uh, Chucky to get a job. Oh, it's not my turn. Not yet.
So the other night we were in convoy and uh, I don't know if you saw the picture. I think uh, Spig put one up maybe of uh, these lights. It's like a bundle of fireflies, but big ones. And they follow you down the highway for a bit. It's really cool. Maybe we could do that. Wait a minute, this isn't us. There's another real export up there. Hey, Marshall. Well, we just finished a run from uh, Prudhoe Bay down here to Fairbanks, Alaska. And uh, <laughs> her cat had thought that maybe we should do a cannonball run on that. And so I was flying on the snow road part of it just going a little bit crazy. Yeah, they're all calmed down now. It's real anticlimactic. Boy, this is a tight little way to get in here with uh, that angle in this barricade right here on the left. I'm gonna... Yeah, that's kind of wild. Okay, you want it on right there. Well, I think we're gonna. Well, that's quite a yard. So, is the reverse version of Forma we have, guys? Uh, is it now free? on uh, the free version is up to date with the paid one. Is that what you're saying? Gotta love Flatbed Brothers FLX 359. What a great truck. Man, love it. Just the style, the old school look. Nice V of the windshield. Well, 607 miles. Yeah, I hear you. I had to, I had to trim some of mine back too, but uh, I still got a good, quite a handful. <laughs> but I mean, there's some that I just, I have to support. I just believe in them. Uh, let's see, what should we do? Let's look at the map. And what I'm thinking is uh, Pine Lake, wasn't, oh, there's a Lennar. Yeah, that's, I was thinking of going from there. What about going from there down to Cache Creek? You guys into that? Or is that too far? Or would you like to see something else? Oh, some, oh, right, sorry, the, uh, boy, shiny. <laughs> I got to figure out where that route was we took the other day. It's over here somewhere. Um, was it this highway? No, it wasn't 93. 90, was it this? Oh, I can't remember where that was. 
where we had the fireflies. Scott, uh, Spake, do you remember what the highway was? Hmm. I remember where the heck that was. So he started in Yuma, north on 93. Okay. Uh, up here, that section, or turn left on 375. Right there. So I guess what we got to do is we got to get to. So if I took a load out of Las Vegas and went to Tonopa and routed myself that way, or St. George, oh, St. George, and come down through that valley. North of Vegas. Yeah, so here. Did, I think it happened along here, did it? Or was it on 93? Yeah, definitely Area 51. Anyway, we'll go to Las Vegas. Uh, let's do that. Let's see. Oh, that one needs a, uh, oh, this is cool. So this is, I haven't up, uh, updated the truck yet, so you get to see the engine. That's kind of cool, eh? This face is a pretty nicely detailed engine. 375. Okay. All right. So I will do that. I'm going to set up this Montana Express truck. So what we got to do, so it just changed to a 63 inch. Then we'll go back to the other one. We can put the paint job back on now. There we go. That's how you fix it. Oh, got to put exhaust on it though. Oh, that's a side skirts. Uh, side skirts and exhaust somewhere exhaust base uh, we'll go with a seven inch 90 oh yeah I don't know seven inch pipes on this truck it's a little big but uh let's go with um Okay, you could do that. Oh no, look at that on the paint job. Oh my god. I gotta update that paint job. There's. Oh no, I never realized that. Shoot. Well, that is definitely a bummer. God darn it, ruined my day. <sighs> wow. To have enough small change for Las Vegas, yeah, no doubt. The moose head skin, I like that one. That's kind of cool. Need the dark green. Moose head logger. Interesting effect with the paint. Cash money, can't go wrong. Okay, I I, uh, I uh, need to really remember. What else do we have for an engine? What about that 444? I haven't driven that in a while. <coughs> Excuse me. Do I have it available in here? Yeah, I do. There we go. Tranny, 336. This will be good. Uh, interior. Excuse me. Okay, we've got a truck. Let's take this thing and relocate it to Vegas. Oh, where the heck's Vegas? Oh, right here. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Oh, the Alberta Heavy Haul for this truck. Oh, that's another one. Uh, okay, so trailer manager. What do we got for trailers to take down there? <clears throat> what trailer is that? Oh, well, that's SCS. Low boy double. Grain hopper. Hmm. Grain hopper B double. Oh. That looks kind of interesting. What about paint? We got the, we'd have the black truck. What happened if we just painted this thing black? How cool would that be? Yeah. See, so we can get a. What if I got. Uh, oh, got the Great Ghost mud flaps going here. Wait a second. Oh, we got a Great Ghost skin for this, too. Uh, Great Ghost and Expedited Express. There we go. Expedited Express. All right. That's as fancy as it gets with the lights. Okay. We'll send that over to Vegas. All right. The driver manager. Trailer manager. Okay. I'm going to hop in the truck and see what we got going on here for um, fuel and repairs and whatnot. I should use a little service. Well, it's not drastic or anything. Yeah, I guess we're alright. Uh, time of day is going to be a problem. Oh, we want to go at night. Alright. So, uh, let's look for a load here. Job market. Cedar City's not going the right way. Fresno's not going the right way. Oh, nothing. Okay, so what we want to do... Uh, look at the map again, I think. Let's see if Truckee, um, Truckee Dispatch is going to work. We want to go up 93, turn there. So we want to load to Tonopa. Tonopa! God, sorry. Let's see if we can get... Um, Trucky dispatch to go. Nope. Why is that? No, it's not going to happen. Okay, I think I can. I'll uh, exit to the launch pad. Worst case scenario, it kicks me out. Sometimes Trucky launches just fine in game, and sometimes it doesn't. So it's running. I'll just go dispatcher. Right from outside. Cargo mark. Uh, from. Las Vegas. Uh, oh. Kind of. I guess we're going to have to use a Walbert to... Uh, a Walbert is probably the only place we're going to get a load with this. 
Free roaming. Ah, uh, we'll get a job. Cargo is going to be grain, I guess. We can get grain. Emergency normal. And we're going to go to Tonapah. Oh, crap. How do you spell it? Tonopa? Yeah. Or Tonopa. Ton Tonopa. Oh, my God. Excuse me. Go to Sunshine Crops. Oh, excuse me. Oh, no. Can't do the job. Oh, wow. Okay. <coughs> Maybe. Oh, that is really annoying. Okay, let's go back in the game. Hey, Matt, how are you? Well, you missed some wild stuff <laughs> scooting across Alaska at a rate of knots in the snow. That was pretty fun. Uh, let's see what we got to do. We'll advance, a day, we'll advance time a, a little bit, a couple days. Worst case scenario, we'll do like Scott said and just run it. It's not that far. Oh, oh, you know what I should have done? Looked at the uh, job market. So maybe the Walbert was the problem. Oh, it's Walmart is good. All right. So let's try going. Uh, we'll go to set the time to 6 a.m. Then we'll set it to. Th no, what do we want? Do we want to go to p.m. like. Ah, oh, let's think so. 10 o'clock at night would be 2200. All right, now let's see what happens. Blythe, no, oh, wrong way. Grand Junction, wrong way. Sacramento. 579. Could take Sacramento and just go the wrong way. Drive a whole bunch of it through. Yeah, that's an idea. Sacramento, I'll just reroute it. All right, so now, save time. We're going to just fly over to the job. Uh, it's that away. See what we gotta do to get this B trailer in there. Oh, we're down the street too far. Oh, this yard, yeah, this is, oops. This is the direction we wanna come in from. Okay. Okay, let's take that. Where are we going to pick this up? Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do we got here? I, this, I think it's a 346 B, right? Oh, 
let's just skip loading, get after it. Oh yeah, the 444, that's what I put in here, yep. Uh, cargo's been loaded, okay, so now we're going to reroute ourselves. So we can get this up here. There we go. Awesome. Love the uh, gauges at night on this truck. Yeah, seriously, this engine is one of those. If I could only have one engine. This one would be right near the top for the decision. I love it. Oh, cool. You'll have to uh, remind me when I get close. Are the lights um, are the lights um, Reforma or SCS? Did you guys figure it out? Skin. Shoot, nobody said anything in any of the uh, comments. I'm gonna have to just fix it. Probably should make that a priority because it's not hard to do. SCS Easter egg. Well, it's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have seen this before, or some of you haven't. You're going to get a kick out of this. of stuff to watch out for. Darn, I should have... Oh, you know what? I should have switched to a truck that has the uh, roof cam. Darn it. Oh, boy. Oh, well, we'll figure it out.
shooting stars around Huron are kind of cool. Huron, California. this from the other night. Or, yeah, we did it in convoy, I think, but it was a different trip. Well, here's the moonlight coming in. Look at that. You see it going across the steering wheel and dashboard. That's pretty cool. I love it. Gonna have to stay left here sooner or later. Oh man. Steve, what a hero. God. You could only have gotten around him. Yeah, I crashed into the back of uh, Scott when we saw it the first time. He stopped to look. I was looking at taking photos. <laughs> and I was still driving. How are you? We're uh, north of Las Vegas. We're rerouting ourselves so we can go buy some, uh, I don't know, some SCS Easter eggs in the game. Gotta keep an eye out for them. Maybe I should be out here. I wonder what's better. Maybe that for now. Oh, well, if you guys wouldn't mind, I hate asking, but maybe, um, maybe enjoying the stream, throw a thumbs up out there. Case we're driving the uh, FLX 359 with a double uh, hopper, SCS hopper bottom. So you think you'd see the uh, UFO around here with all the uh, uh, radar dishes here? Or is a jet going over somewhere? Oh, I'll crash here. Turn left here. Nice, Scott. Okay, so now 
So let's just say, welcome to our project, Reforma, okay. Well, maybe it is a Reforma thing, who knows. Okay, we gotta get out here. Actually, we're gonna have to be able to move around a bunch cause, so we can follow it. is pretty awesome. Oh shoot, I'm back in here. I want to, no, I want to be, where do I want to be here? I want to be out here. see something jumping around on the horizon there. We're going to drive right into that. I'll try real hard not to crash here. Turn my high beams down so we don't This thing's going to follow us down the road for a while. I try real hard not to crash. Is that weird or what? Yeah, close encounters of the third kind, or the weird kind. <laughs> Extraterrestrial hot, oh, wait a minute. Was I supposed to turn somewhere here? Right there. That's it. Restricted area. This is like that movie. What was it? Um, oh man, that one with Nick Nolte and those uh, a period one where they're detectives in LA driving around that 53 Buick convertible. What the heck was that movie called? Mulholland Drive? I don't know. I can't remember their investigating area. Why, all 
these little things on the side of the road are going to make it kind of difficult to turn around here. I think. I'll try it. Miss this one. And turn around that other one and get back on the road. Oh! Ran through a Joshua tree. How to go? You guys do all right. Check this out, George. <laughs> oh, back on the road. It's a long day away. I hope it was worth it. Did the team do okay? Oh man, there's... Okay, so... What is this? A rest area? I don't want to do a rest area, or is this an information thing? That's rest area, yeah, we don't want to stop the engine. Stop and get out of the truck. Five, nothing, wow, that's crazy. Stop and get out of the truck. What if we get, we can't chase it, oh yeah, no. How far away did we get? It's like one of those things you... Oh, we're right in the middle of it. All right. All right, it's just getting weird. Okay. <laughs> All right. I was honestly back in the 70s. Whew. UFOs on the right. Oh. Recycling center. Oh, <laughs> supposed to throw your trash in there. Well, you guys, I don't know if any of you are Canadian or used to travel in Manitoba. Like, I know when we were kids, and we'd be on a... Well, even, I guess, once I was in my teens still and driving myself around, they were there. They had in Manitoba little round uh, spheres on the side of the road on a little stand, and it was um, trash cans along the side of the highway and they'd say put your trash into orbit I don't know if anybody remembers those or any fellow Canadians here Let's get on with this trip. Yeah, I love these instruments at night. They look so you know, nice and vintage, which of course they are.
Yeah, SCS tends to keep everything understated, don't they? <laughs> Two lights when they can have... I wonder if what uh, Reformer did is just take the two from SCS and just copy-paste kind of thing, whatever it takes, make a whole bunch of them. My 62 Caddy in the World of Wheels show again this year. Well, I should say again, it's been six years since I've had it in the show. So I don't know what they call it in your area. Is that the World of Wheels or in the States? Do you have something else? It's like that traveling autorama thing, you know, goes around the country. And certain cars travel with it. <clears throat> and for every city they go to, they have X number of local entrants can enter as well. Uh, no, I don't, uh, speak. I'm gonna have to do that later. Uh, but, um, yeah, getting back to the caddy, I just got the entry, entry form yesterday. It's gonna be in April, the beginning of April, so... I'm gonna take a chance, and I'm not gonna book a... Well, I'll have to look at the weather. Hopefully I don't need to book a flat deck to take it down because the weather is too bad. Last time I had it in, it was in February, so I hired a, you know, one of those roll, um, I don't know, flat deck truck thing. He winched it up on the truck and drove it right inside the building. But I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'll have to make the weekend's videos ahead of time. The sun's going to come up soon. Logistics Center. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering who was going to be the first one.
dicey. I got sun hitting the peak up there. Sh should I say it's big? Oh man, look at that. The sun's rising real quick here. Wow, that was cool. Very cool to be part of that. redone by Reforma. There's a lot more here than in the SCS version. Pretty clunky in town here, though. It's going to be on tonight. Hey Kyle, how are you? That's 600 miles to go on this one, and I think this will be the last trip for this live stream. Because I got to get my load order and everything together for tonight's live stream. Where we're going to come back and in the same truck again <laughs> with a bunch of others. Double whammy live stream going. Two servers or two live streams? Do we have a wheel cam in this one? Got the wheel cam. a big hill here. Server 2 with Rudis trucks. Oh, okay, that one. Yeah, so it won't be this truck. Alright. Oh yeah, W900 and 362. Uh-oh, somebody's coming. Eggs. Well, that was... Thanks for stopping there, buddy.
Try it again. Sacramento from where we are, which route we're going to take. It's all interesting with Reforma. Okay, Kenneth, I'm glad you could drop by for a bit, and uh, all the very best. Maybe you will get some snow in Denmark soon. <laughs> station up here somewhere. Okay, Platy. Uh, it's nice of you to drop by. Take care. We'll catch you, well, maybe tomorrow. I think there's potentially a live stream going tomorrow, too. We'll see. Definitely going to be a, a free server convoy for you folks from Europe. <laughs> Don't want snow. Oh, spring. Nice little blanket of snow every now and then. It's a good thing, though. It's a uh, deja vu all over again. Okay, Platy, we'll see you tomorrow. Awesome. way into California without hitting an inspection station. Justin.
what time do we start tonight? Is it um, 7 p.m. my time? I'm at Mountain Time, so uh, 8, is it 8 uh, Central? Maybe I got it wrong, maybe it's 7. Okay, seven my time then. Okay. Uh, nine Eastern, eight Central, seven Mountain, six Pacific. And then that would be like uh, 10 o'clock uh, Mark's time on Atlantic. If you don't have anybody in Newfoundland, that would be 10.30 for them. Oh, I gotta get fuel. Uh, oh, yeah, Scott, you're in mountain time too. Yeah. Wow, some big hiccups right there. Uh oh, what's going on with that guy? Oh, he is coming over, man. Boy, oh, excuse me. Yeah, DI is out of town again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I hear you. I guess that's one that I should make. It would look good behind this truck. What do I got on it? Oh, yeah, cash money. And then just make it paintable, like the one for the uh, traffic, I just made it black. But I could make it uh, paintable so you can match your truck. For uh, a steam workshop paint job. Do the, update the logo too because that logo is the old one. I've cleaned it up a whole bunch. Oh yeah, that one's pretty ratty. Oh, forgot to see who's driving that. What have we got in the shop or er, flatbed brothers? Hey Spick, that's you. <laughs> there goes Spick.
Uh, a train just spawned in in a hurry. Oops. Driving all over. Yeah, I should try and make sure what we're doing here. Kind of a left turn up there. Yeah, it sure is choppy in the stream. Well, we got, um, oh. going to be interesting parking this thing. we got a pretty long wheelbase truck here, but uh, I'll give it a go. I guess we take the big highway in. Oh man, we're gonna have to go through that. Um, I wonder. We've gotta go through that um, California inspection station thingy. Let's have a look here. What our? Yeah, that's a big one right there. We gotta go around here again to Sacramento. Darn! You know what? Why don't we just to get adventurous? We rode ourselves through all this stuff here. Why not? What the heck? Let's see what that's all about. Ooh, what's going on here? Oh no, those guys are taking that ramp. <laughs> I thought I was pulling out onto a. Somewhere I'd get run over. Again, gee, that's where we started the day off in Reno. Oops. Might have to be in that 
right lane, it looks like. towards Carson City and Susanville. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. What if that's... off here. Inspection station's coming up. Yeah, for tonight's stream, I'll probably just stream like the first hour or so or trip or whatever we got going on. Inspection station. Probably coming up soon. No. Oh yeah, there it is. Darn. I don't think I have time to get her. Oh no, maybe you got time. Get around that one truck up there. building out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, it's the road. Uh-oh, I'm out of fuel. Oh, I forgot to get fuel. Shoot. All right, we'll coast up here. 
Darn, I forgot all about it. Well, we'll get to where it's... We don't want to be parked on a hill. Yeah, John, you need to be figuring out how to get on Recon's free server. It's open all the time. You can jump on it any time. And there's a voice channel and everything on uh, the ATS expansion. Okay, so yeah, doing a recon. Oh, what do I got to do again? I think it's just that switch, this one. And click it again. No, nope. get it up. And then go here. That's it. And we want fuel. How do I get fuel? D service engine, but. Here we go. Emergency refueling. There we go. All right. We got just a little bit. The fuel range is 110 miles. So what we got to do is look at the map. There's no fuel there. There's no fuel there. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, boy. How far away is that? That's 80. Oh, that checkpoint. If we reset the navigation, we clicked on there. That's 165 miles. That's not going to work. Well, what do we do about this? Go to we run out again and then get more fuel? Oh, boy. That's a heck of a thing. There's no fuel in Truckee. I can't buy a garage there. Because this is Reforma. Well, you know what we can do? All right, I hate to do it, but... Hey, there's Marion. How are you? How are you? Uh, we're in a pickle. So, what we're going to do... I'm going to fly back to Reno and get some fuel and then fly back here. So what we should do, hang on, put the map up here. Well, look at there's fuel right across there, whatever that is. So we could just fly through the mountain and get it. Right here. Oh, that's, how the heck? That's a fueling spot, all right, but, okay. we can do oops land here ditch the trailer Yeah, I just did an emergency refueling. I got 110 mile range, and I couldn't. I wouldn't have reached um, fuel, Marion. There is no way because the nearest fuel I could get was 200 some miles away. So I would have had to do the emergency refueling again. Okay, get our wheels straight, brakes are all on, in neutral, and we'll fly back to where we were. You can see our progress over there on the map, this will land where we were. Uh, we're heading about the right direction. Oh, went a little far, right, right here is where we were. 
There, we did our own emergency refueling. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I get it, Marion. It's just I didn't want to keep doing it. So, is it put you behind and paying a bunch of extra money for it? So you just, what the heck? There was no fuel for a long way on this road. 200? I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. We got to reset our, our map again because we wanted to go through here. Oops. Reset. There we go. get called into this darn way station and have to go through that and then through the inspection. <laughs> yeah, I only got $974 million. So yeah, I didn't want to pay that extra money. Seven four ninety seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just just can't afford it, you know. I I mean, cow. Put tires on the truck, fuel, insurance, kids to feed, bills to pay. Don't want to see that nine hundred whatever, bajillion dollars dwindle. <laughs> hey, whammer! is pretty cool, eh? That's pretty neat. Don't have the long-range camera working here either. Last time, go three miles an hour to get on the highway. That'll get you somewhere. Oh, we got to do the next right here. Shoot. Never get around this guy in time. No. All right, we 
gonna take the scenic route. Sideways, Bob. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, deny that. American Flight Simulator. <laughs> yeah. But we did that to go get fuel, too. Last time we came up here, we had to turn right, right here, but we're gonna carry on past. We went that way on the freeway, I'm pretty sure. But we're gonna go up here and take that windy road. down this street before in a live stream I think got that Walmart or whatever it is right down the hill here oh we were going to a business down here we didn't go down the road all the way that was it there's the Walbert right there Walmart oh yeah I got this delivery right here I had one here the other day too. It wasn't in a. Oh, I'm supposed to stop. Oh, oh, oh. It wasn't in a video or a live stream or anything. It was just in my own time. So here's the thing here. Drive through that little yard right there and go across, get on the thing, and then come back up and back down and turn around. Hey guys, so on Rudis trucks, do we have the roof cam? Does it work on them? This is default SCS here. Or is it? No, uh, the rocks look a little funny. Let's see what's up ahead. Yeah, that was a recon, all right. And the funny thing is, a little earlier in the stream, I was saying how I gotta watch it. I'm almost out of fuel. Uh, this doesn't look like uh, SCS here. I don't remember. Unless we get that bridge coming up. Oh, there's the bridge up there. Yeah, this is SCS. The 
best free truck on Steam? Well, for me, it's the, uh, well, there's two really good ones. Let's say the best cab over <laughs> is uh, the Overfloater K100, Kenworth, and the best conventional is, well, the Viper's not on there anymore, is it? Or is it? I don't know. I've got my own version of the Viper. Oh, the Mac R. Yeah, that's a good one. For sure. Then you get the dealing add-on and turn it into an R700 with a sleeper, which is pretty cool. I've been on this road in a long time. Yeah, Viper Speeder Build is pretty good. Uh, if you go on our Discord, uh, the Ride Long Goggles Discord, there's a uh, link there to my saved version of the Viper. It's pretty good too. If, uh, if you got one with messed up glass, highway down there. That's where we would have been going. We didn't take the winding route. So they're gonna, that big road's gonna go all the way around. We're gonna, oh, 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 crap. Hope I didn't go over. Shoot, that was close. I heard three beeps. Yeah, the, uh, right along with Discord. Right, right along with Discord goggles. <laughs> the Ride Along with Goggles Discord. There's a lot of good resources and things on there. Oh, that's a cool road. fuel stop up on the around this next corner we wouldn't have made with our uh, with our last little uh, free fueling service thingy we got has been lost. Came up the highway, now he's going back the other way. Folks are getting their money's worth. Oh, that's the heat's got somebody pulled over here.
oblivious what's going to happen when we get up to that truck so you're just going to come right across or need an update for the Viper. I have a version of the Viper I've saved from when it was a good truck and kept it off of Steam so it doesn't get the bogus updates. And there's a channel there for it so if that's what you're looking for you just need to go on there and look for the Viper 389 channel. has it its own channel because I think it's a uh, it's kind of one of those um, I don't know it's a truck that's important to the game uh, we gotta turn off here we do Stay left now. Yeah, the Viper, like I say, it's like one of those trucks that was so popular. And, you know, I, it's a truck I learned to do skins on. And, uh,. just kind of iconic to the game. So worthy of its own Discord channel. <laughs> Center. I wonder where that is. To get in the left lane, I think. Uh oh, did I make a wrong turn? No, nope, we're good. Or did I? Oh, that might have been a mistake, yeah. Darn it all. Now far to oh that 123 miles, forget it. We're gonna do more uh, American flight simulator. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, let's look and see what we're supposed to do and where we gotta go. So we were supposed to go here like that. So we gotta go over there to our left, fifty. We're heading into that big business park. Okay, cool. All right, brakes on. Got our flying suit on. Let's see. We're right there. We got to go over here. And let's just make sure. Well, that doesn't look right. Go back here, find the truck. Oops. It's right down there. We were supposed to turn here, follow that around there, onto this ramp here. All right, let's slow this thing down so we don't break our neck and land here on the road. Ooh, 
That's kind of narrow. All right. Okay. Crisis averted. Get frequent flyer miles. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to be turning right here. Yeah. Pops. when we were kids I'm sure well I don't know about now like I mean it's way safer now I guess but boy when we were kids hockey was a little different I'm sure like how many uh, kids my generation growing up took hockey sticks to the head <laughs> uh I'm making excuses, mind you. I'm just, you know, it's just uh, pointing out a fact. <laughs> Too many pucks to the noggin. I only ever got hit by a puck once in the head, but uh, it was in a hockey game. I had a helmet on, but it hit my face. <laughs> and now I'm pretty. Yeah, the little guys nowadays are all done up in like cages and shields and none of that was a thing when I was a kid and the helmets weren't that great either. They were they well, I guess they worked. I don't know of any my friends who died, <laughs> yeah, we all made it. We didn't all survive motorcycles, so unfortunately. You know when you have friends that you're young and you're into bikes, motorcycles and stuff, and there's always the guy that shouldn't have a motorcycle and gets one you're thinking oh no 
and it ends badly. That's I'm sure we all have those tales. I was 13. I think I grew up out in the country and I had my uh, first motorcycle when I was 13. And no helmet or anything, just rolling around in the woods and the fields and stuff. And I crashed it into some trees, like went off my trail through the bush and into a bunch of trees. Hit my head pretty good on a tree. Came home all kind of dazed out. And. <laughs> My mom threw me in the car and drove me into the city to get a helmet. <laughs> uh, I wonder why my parents didn't think of that before I hit the tree. Okay, let's see what we can do if we can do anything with this. Boy, well, this should be pretty good. we got lots of room to get it lined up. It's just we got the long truck. We should, we'll gut it out. We could probably go right across the uh, the road here. It's not a very busy road. Nobody coming either way. It's not going to work out as well as I had hoped. Oh, a little late getting back here. Okay, don't want to compound our errors. Five miles. Boy, I hope I didn't go over there either. So I heard a few beeps again. Not doing the VTC any good. But, um, 
Well, thanks for following along, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, we're going to uh, run again tonight with the Ruta truck. So that's cool. Well, we got the W900 and 362 in a uh, private server. So we'll stream a little bit of that tonight. So look for it at, what was it? Uh, 8 Central, 9 Eastern. Uh, oh boy, let me think. Got to do the math on that. Oh, boy. I don't know. It's late <laughs> in Europe. But uh, anyway, ah, race miles again. Darn it. Okay, but um, thanks as always. Uh, appreciate the heck out of you guys. And um, we'll catch you later tonight and perhaps even tomorrow. We'll, uh, we'll have a um, convoy with our friends in the UK and maybe even Stefana jump in. Who knows? From Belgium. But anyway, as always, take care and bye for now. Yeah, we'll see you tonight's big for sure. And there we go. Thanks, pups. Yeah, see you later.